Bill Elliott comes to fifth, then Harry Mann is in sixth. Trouble to the back straightaway. Well, car number 42 has crashed to the back straightaway. That is Hoover. Terry Zunover's car out of Royal Palm Beach, Florida. The 03 has socked the wall going into turn number three. Fifth caution of the day at lap 128. He spun going down the back straightaway. And car number eight, there's Bobby Hill and the Texas driver in bad trouble from this skirmish. Hillens number eight coming in. Crew Chief Jake Elder waiting on that car, and I would say that looks terminal. Yes, it does. That's, that's an extreme front end, that front end there to try to contain the racing. Bobby Hillen, Crew Chief Jake Elder, ready to go over the wall. Elder, who tutored Waltrip and Dale Earnhardt and started their grand national careers and worked with Terry Labonte for half of 81, part of 82. Now working with Bobby Hillen. Let's see what we can gather from replay as to what happened here. There's the number 42. He socked the outside wall already. And here he comes. They've, they've rebuilt that dirt barrier, and he really gives it a thump. Car number 42 says goodbye to this race. Car number 42, Terry Schoomer of Royal Palm Beach, Florida, in a Chevrolet. Crew Chief Barry Bostick is out of it. Schoonover's car is still there, and we understand he may have been injured in that crash. The ambulance is there with the Schoonover car. Terry Schoonover crashing at the third turn, the entrance to the third turn. And let's look again and see if we can discern anything more from this incident. There's the 42. He's collected the outside wall, and here he comes, and this is a lot of impact. Yeah, he really hit that bank uh, hard. That's a sudden stop. It really jolts the driver. Of course, there was substantial damage to the car before he even hit the dirt bank. I think we have another angle. There is the, the Hillen car, Bobby Hillen's car. He, in attempting to avoid the car number 42, got himself on the outside wall of turn number three. Tore up the nose on that car. Here's an update on Bobby Hillen's situation, Ken. That number eight car badly damaged in that crash. They have torn away the grill and the front sheet metal, changed four tires, gassed the car without losing a lap during the pit stop, and the teenage sensation from Texas is back out there with a badly bent race car, but ready to get in there and mix it up with the superstars of Grand National Racing. That's quite an accomplishment. Bobby said he got cut off, and that's what forced him into the wall, but Bobby Hillen is back out there. Eight cars are now out of the race. Joe Buckman has the latest along with the Terry Schoonover car to fall by the wayside. Number eight, there you see Bobby Hillen's car badly blunted the front end. And there's into the outside wall going down the back stretch. Then his problems really began as he slammed into the dirt bank. Safety crews taking some additional time. Backboard ending out there for Terry Schoonover. Florida driver was crashed. He entered drag racing at age 16 and drove the uh, short tracks in West Palm Beach for a couple of years, a product of the Buck Baker Driving School worked out a deal uh, with an engine company to a campaign in 85, and he has taken a hard look here. I wonder if we can get a word with Benny Parsons. We need to see number three ahead of that story. They're still working to remove Terry Schoonover from the car. Gant had not led a lap today. He had not led a lap. They're, they're trying to cut the roof off, I believe, on car number 42. They've got to cut it out to get him out. Yeah, this, is, this looks like it's very serious when you have to go to those extremes to extract the driver from the car. So we hope that, uh, that Terry's not too bad. And of course, something like this, you know, that terrific jolt that uh, could have uh, uh, knocked the breath out of him or put him unconscious, you just don't know. We certainly hope it's not too serious. 135 laps have been completed. 135 of the 328. Most serious caution of the day, Terry Schoonover's car has crashed savagely on a back straightaway. It hit the outside retainer, glanced off it, when hit that dirt retainer on the inside, it came to a sudden halt. Yes, there's a good possibility the way the car is, is damaged uh, on the left side around the driver's door that he could just simply be have his feet or legs trapped in the car because of the metal bent in around him. We certainly hope that's the situation. 1976 winner, Dave Marcus. Terry Schoonover is now in the ambulance. His dad was a very famous powerboat racer. I believe he may have been one of the first people in the old days of records to, to put what they would consider a pleasure craft over 100 miles an hour. He's 32 years old and set very conservative goals this year. In fact, one time he said, all I, I wanted to do in 84 
was make the starting field at Rockingham in Atlanta. And when you consider that 22 came here and did not make the starting field, he had a good start on this. But he has been in a serious crash. The ambulance is now bringing him back to the field hospital, which is just below the scoring stand, directly across from us at the start finish line. Remember, it managed a 21st Rockingham three weeks ago. The crew chief of this race was Bobby Hudson, who served as a crew member for Benny Parsons. In 1973, he was the champion. Well, there's the car. 42 being taken off the, uh, off the wall. And the ambulance is bringing Spoon over to the infield hospital at this time. Let's go to Dr. Jerry. We were just out at the infield hospital moments ago as the ambulance pulled by us and heads down with Terry Spoon over. I talked to Dr. James Jennings. He says they have dispatched a helicopter to the speedway, which is a normal precaution in an accident. They will take Spoon over to a local facility for x-rays and to be checked up a little more completely and they can handle here at the speedway. Jerry will be following this story on Terry Schoonover, who has crashed here in the third turn of the Atlanta International Raceway. Here's Jack Aroop. Well, by now, Dale Lindman, the crew chief, John Dean Combs have come out of the race. Bobby Hillen and Terry Schoonover's car you see being brought back now. There are eight cars out of the race. I believe that Joe Rutman's car, they're still trying to do some work on. And Bobby Hillen's car, which was in that incident with number 42, is back on the track. Take a look at the nose on car number 42. Yeah, that car is extremely damaged. We understand that one of the reasons they had in, in getting Terry out of the car and also getting the car back over here off the racetrack was the extreme muddy conditions over on the backstretch. We had just a 